happening? Why must he remain in the boys' quarters? Look, you don't understand. But uh, it's all because you are a young woman. That, I, don't, I don't like that. I know I am not old, but I think you've been unfair to Bob. What is unfair about this? Boys play with boys and girls with girls. Brothers and sisters must be able to play together then. Look, but not in this situation. It is not easy. It isn't easy. And he is my brother. Look, he is not. He is your stepbrother. Dad! The truth is sometimes bitter, but we'll have to take it, no matter what. Dad, you made the rule. You said we should never ever use that word yes, in this house. I did. I did. But I want you to know the difference before anything serious happens. You understand? I made a rule, but I still want you to know the difference. Dad, we all know and are prepared to go by that. I'm particularly used to them as my brothers. Look, just keep quiet and listen to what I am telling you. Now, first, I am your father and I'm the one who contracted this whole business. I've not found it too beneficial and I'm telling you, keep to this instruction. What is, what, what is wrong with that? But he's my brother because she's my mother. What is wrong with her here? Why is she upset? Have you been insulting her? No. Then why is she upset? Your children are misbehaving. Oh. That shouldn't make you so moody. Let's find out why and talk to them possibly in a very nice way. You can do the talking yourself. Oh no. It will be better if both of us do the talking. Why must I be the one to talk to your children anyway? Because you are their father and the master of this house. You still don't understand. Talk to your sons, I mean. Oh, Jesus. Yo, did I hear you right? You heard me right. I'm getting fed up with their kind of behavior. They haven't proven to be the kind of children I want at all. Yo, please, don't let us make noise over this issue. They shouldn't know about how you feel. I don't care if they should know. I don't care if they should know because I'm not happy with their presence. I'm not happy at all because of their unacceptable behavior. I'm not happy. So you, let's do something about it. Eh? They're your sons, remember? They are not. I was only trying to make them. Yeah. Have you forgotten so soon what we both agreed on? How much it took us to get to this point? You don't understand. Look, you are the right person to talk to your sons. That's what I mean. God. I came in uh, but, uh, a short while ago and you were not here. Yes, I went to the other office. Ah, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Since when have you been around? Oh, about 30 minutes. I went to see your boss. Ah. And, so, uh, have you finished with what you came to me? Mm, not exactly. I will have to come tomorrow and then finalize the arrangements. That will mean after tomorrow, we'll come next month as usual. Yes, yes. You know, we'll come once a month or twice in a month. <laughs> mm, that's a good. <clears throat> oh, uh, but uh, you still think you can't uh, find time so that we'll go out to lunch, as I uh, always uh, <laughs> been saying. <laughs> Why do you always want to talk about the same thing each time? Well, <clears throat> It isn't a question of talking about the same thing, but um, I just want to have you sitting by me and then we have a serious talk. Is it? Mr. Mufa, there's nothing to talk about. And even if there is, why can't we do this? 
Um, I think this place is too open for us. If we won't have the privacy we require, you know, that's why I'm talking about going to lunch somewhere, I mean, where we can have our privacy. I'm past the age of going out to lunch. Mm. I only have to send someone to get me something small. Is that <coughs> enough for me? I see. So what do you normally take uh, at lunch? Oh, <laughs> that's my secret. But you see, I think that um, maybe for once you have to go out to a restaurant and have a three-course meal, you know? Something nice in a restaurant uh, mm. would do you a great deal of good. Why do you want to spend money on me? I believe it's expensive. Oh, no, no. But <laughs> even if it is, I mean, 5,000 CDs on someone like you shouldn't uh, be a bother. You see, uh, 5,000 is not much money. 5,000 CDs? Oh, yes. You think it's expensive? Oh, no, it, it, could, it could be more depending on the class of the restaurants. It could cost more. Well. I'd rather give the money to me. No, 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 oh, no. no. Not for 5,000 <laughs> CDs. Great, it's too so. expensive. And a waste. No, you see, <laughs> um, don't talk about waste. The idea is uh, the atmosphere, the environment, that uh, perhaps I could share with you, sitting in a restaurant. This is what I'm thinking of, and not the money. You ask for the money, forget about the money. It isn't any... It's too weak. So don't bother yourself. You've been saying this for quite a long time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I will... Oh, I wouldn't want your boss to meet me. I'll come tomorrow, but please make up your mind. I mean, I think it's just for a change. I mean, why don't you take your wife if you want the company? My wife? No, but are you not aware that I am a divorcee? You are a divorcee? Yes. I've been without a, a wife for four years. I've been very lonely. Four years of oh. loneliness. In fact, I'm very, very sorry. I never knew. No, I'm I sorry. See. I also understand why you, you have been a little difficult, but um, so since you know, I think you have to start thinking afresh. <laughs> I'm a divorcee, a serious one. I saw you. So um, anyway, I'll come tomorrow. I don't want him to meet me, as I said. I'll come tomorrow so that we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, it, it'll work. Hmm? Hey, Mr. Mofa. <laughs> yes, so, so... Uh, won't you give me the money for lunch? <laughs> Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you just... Okay, you can have what I have here, really. Um, just so... Um, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. That is more important to me. Okay. Yes. All right, see you. Okay. Thank you.
You're not too tired of waiting. No. Yes, okay. Back to what I was saying, you see. Um, this is all the reason why I've been, you know, wanting to see you and talk to you and, you know, why I'm festering you. Listen, Senator. I don't want us to drop this issue. I told you yesterday that I'm not interested. And you promised today will be a different issue. Yes, I remember I, I, I said that, but it's actually different. It's actually different because today I want you to appreciate my problem. Listen, I, I want you to understand, you see, because I, I have come to see that I need you badly. You know, I, I want you by my side. I mean, I, I, I want to lean on you and I want you to be my support and bring some life into my home. Why don't you look for someone who is much younger and less burdensome? But why do you think you're going to be a burden on me? I told you earlier on that I have two kids, 16 and 18 years. I've been taking care of them for the past 10 years since my husband died. Yes, but I mean, how much would that cost? How much is it going to cost me to take care of two lads, 16 and 18? Mr. Mofa, you don't understand. It isn't just the money. Mm -hmm. Because alone, I'm even prepared to start to take care of them. The problem is, they are a bit difficult to contain. Oh. They are not very bad boys, but since there hasn't been any man around to help control them, they once in a while get out of control. You see, so this brings to mind one important point. Look, Vida. It is simple. They need a father. And I'm prepared to become their father if you give me the chance. I've told you I have two girls, I, you know, two girls who are going to go rotten if I don't have any woman around to teach them and nurture them to become ideal women. And you don't have to deny the fact that you also need a man, much as I need a woman. Please. Yes, Mr. Mufa, I'm sorry. I kept faith with my children. I love them and they love me too. And we've been very happy together in spite of the absence of a man. So, don't you think that your husband, his death, I mean, your husband dying and my wife divorcing me, is all a blessing in disguise, and that our meeting is of God. What do you think so? Please, let's go. Please, okay, one, one, one more, one more, one more thing. I, I want you to take your time and then consider this thing. The two of us can make a home. You understand? Please think of the home we can make together. Now think of my daughters, the two girls, without any woman at home, no mother, nobody to call mommy, somebody who can be sure of their life, somebody who can help them. And think of your sons. What would happen to them if they don't have a man around to, to ward them of danger? Look, we can make a home together. And I promise that I, I can be their father. All right? Please, Mr. Rupa, don't ever let me down. I won't. 
Otherwise, my sons won't ever forgive me. I agree, but it will ever, never, ever happen. I am going to do exactly that. Give me the chance. I promise to make your sons my sons. I promise to make your sons your sons, my sons, your sons my sons, I mean, if you give me the chance. Please, I promise. Why do you have to do that? Oh, but where are you going? Eh? Uh, I want to see a friend. Has Amopa been here? No. Yeah, that reminds me. Saida was here. Mm. And she was here to complain again. What is it about? Look, friend, it looks like this time you have to take me to the materials. I mean it. <laughs> I don't even know what a man has done again. How can I talk to him? He's not treating her fairly. He's making her look desperate. That's for you, woman. A petty quarrel and you call it a war. And the need for a peacekeeping force. Frank, <laughs> you call that a petty quarrel? Huh? Do you? Look, it is normal in every mind. And ours is no exception. You also fight. Please don't treat this case like any other one. Because you are aware of the conditions under which they agreed to marry. And if Amofa oh, is yes. uh, behaving... Oh, yes. I know. I know. I know Amofa is not happy with Vida's second boy. Just because he says he engages in petty thievery and whatnot. But that is natural. I mean, he would definitely not like him. Oh, Frank. You are missing the point. He hit the boy. Oh, how? He hit him. And it was not fair he referred to him as a stepson. You mean he used the word step? Yes. And he went on to tell the girls that they should note the difference. They reported to Vida. Yao has disappointed me. Yao, what on earth provoked him to go that far? Oh. But even if he was provoked beyond reason, it wasn't right. Eh? What could he have done if he was provoked by his own son? In that case, could he have disowned him instantly? Could he? Well, you are right, my dear. You are very right. Uh, I'll find time to talk to him. Huh? This is not a question of finding time. The situation calls for an urgent intervention. Don't look, you see? Look, why do you want us to get involved so early? Maybe they will be able to solve the problem their own way. They are not kids. Eh? It is true, but don't forget. Frank, don't forget the role you and I played in getting the two together. The trouble it took to get Vida convinced Look. And don't forget that the two of us are going to be blamed if we sit and watch the total collapse of the marriage. Betty, Betty, do you want us to fight over this issue? No, no. If no, then cut it, please. No. Cut it. Leave it to me. I'm a bit confused and I've told you I'll find time and talk to the man. Why the run? Okay, um, I'll be back. Yes, come in. Good day. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Please, I'm looking for Judas. Pardon? Judas. Uh, 
It's not that tall and it's not short. He doesn't live here. He lives in the outhouse. When you go out, just go straight and then turn right. That's where he lives. Please, I've been there already, but the place is empty. I mean, there's no one there. So I decided to check out the city here. Young man, what I mean is that the man you're looking for doesn't live here. He lives out there. So go there and look for him. If he's not there, fine. You find him elsewhere. Hmm? Thank yes. you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, please, can I see uh, Joanna? You want to see who? I mean, Joanna Mupa. She's not that fair and not dark. What's your name? Peter Paul Saul. Huh? Peter Paul Saul. And which is her surname? So, no. Paul. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah. Look here, come this way, come this way. Is this boy your friend? Yes, Dad. Now, how did he become your friend? Oh, he's Judas's friend, and I got to know him. I see. So Judas's friends are your friends, no, isn't it? No, Dad, not all of them. Look, are you aware that Judas is... Look here, Elijah, or whatever your name is. Also. Look, if you ever come here looking for your friend Iscariot. Iscariot? I mean Judas. Uh -huh. If you ever come here looking for that boy in this house, I'll be very mad at you. I told you where he lives. Get out. Thank you. Look at that. Such a thing. How can you make Judas's friends your friends? How? Daddy. What is wrong with making friends with my brother's friends? Look, Judas, look, Judas is a bad boy. And he will definitely make friends with bad boys. But Dad, why have you started picking on him of late? I don't understand it all. You won't understand it because you are a young woman. Now, first of all, Judas is your stepbrother and wouldn't mind and care what comes, harm comes over you. Secondly, he steals. No. Are you aware he's a thief? No, Dad. The wristwatch was later found in your old pair of trousers. You won't let me explain it. She has Judas has deceived all of you. He put the wristwatch in my pocket because he wanted to steal them. No, Dad. I mean, why have you started using the word? You, you asked us, listen, you listen. want us never to use that word in Fine, this house. Listen, I made a rule and rules are made to be broken. Dad. Yes. So I want you to understand it that way. Okay? No, but Dad, I mean, how can I be humiliated in this manner? In front of friends, you start shouting and... and yes, it is simple. I'm sorry about that, but it is simply because we, we, we never had such problems. It was all because of the presence of these boys. No. I wasn't doing that to you. No, Dad. You are not being fair. You are not being fair, Dad. I mean, Mom loves us so much, and our friends can't even tell whether she's a real mother or not. Now, you know, there's just one simple reason why that is happening. It is all because you are not troublesome. You're not giving her problems. So, of course, she, she doesn't have anything to worry about. Yeah. If these boys have committed any particular offense against you, can they tell me and let me talk to them? Since you are refusing to help me talk to them, you know something? They are bad boys. I don't need to tell you they are bad boys. You should know that yourself. Please, yeah. I heard all that you told Joanna. 
And it is very, very sad to know that you, Yawamufa, has started sowing seeds of discontent in this house. I know that boys are not like girls. But don't forget that one reason why we came together was to help each other in bringing up their children. The two of them have started complaining that they are not happy anymore. I don't care if they complain. Let them go ahead and complain. But I'm telling you, I'm not going to allow myself to be pushed around to do the wrong thing. I don't know why I must pay fees, feed them, house them, and then continue to have petty problems that will disturb my peace in the house. Oh, yeah. So you have started complaining already. Don't let me regret my being with you. Look, All the impressions you gave me are miles away from what is actually happening. And I'm surprised. I am also surprised because what I thought of is not what is happening. I never thought you were bringing in boys who are rascals, who are uncontrollable, and who are going to be a burden on me. I still feel I've also regretted somehow. Yeah, you've sat on my heart. How bad are they? You have both been able to tell me exactly what they have done wrong. It's always suspicion and nothing else. In any case, did I not tell you beforehand that they are like any other boys, difficult? Did you not promise that together we shall reform them? That reformation has become impossible. It is virtually impossible to reform and change boys like that, uncontrollable. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that I wanted to take care of their schooling myself? And you insisted and said that wouldn't be a problem for you at all. Yes, it is not a problem and it will continue not to be a problem. The point is that I don't want to waste money, throw money about, pay fees for boys who are not one bit like this intelligence. They have nothing in there. Do you remember that you forced me till I sold my only house, which was the only legacy I could leave for my sons? I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know why you do that. Look. I was only helping you. It was only a kind gesture. Something to give you capital to do business with. And you failed, just like your sons. You failed. No, yeah. I believe you never loved me. You were only bluffing and finding things a bit stiff. You are trying to find a way out. That is never. all. Never. You know it. And you know I love you and I'll continue loving you and I'll continue to love you. The issue is on your sons and not you. Why then? If you really and truly love me, why can't you find a place for them too in your heart? Love me, love my dog. Look, yeah. you're, being, you're being too emotional. I don't know why you want to stick to this idea you're holding now. You're being too emotional. You, I mean, you just want to protect them. Why? Do you think it was right for me to have married you? Why not? Why not? Where are the benefits? What have I gained, Yawamufa? Only hatred for my son. And they are holding me responsible for this. Look, let them hold themselves responsible for their stupidity and foolishness in this house. The kind of games they are playing, the kind of life they are leading. I don't know what they're going to say, but I think you're being too emotional. You're just saying things that you don't know. You don't want to accept the fact. The fact is they are bad boys. You have to know it. That is all. And you have to do the talking. You have to do something about this. Yo. Very nice. Are you going Thank out? Thank you. No, I thought I should look presentable before they arrive. Oh, <laughs> that's so. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, I think they are a little late. Yes. They give me 11 p.m. 11 a.m. and it's almost 12. Oh. Ma, are they jovial? I mean, do they like going out? Do they do things like other boys do? Okay. Judas isn't that jovial and sociable, mm. but Bob, I mean Robert, he likes going out a lot. He's very friendly. Yeah! Yeah! That would be wonderful! That would be great, man! It's so great to have them around. But what 
all this money. I thought they were here. <laughs> She's so protected because they are the type of people she wants. Yes, you see, I can't just imagine the way it would be like to have brothers around. It's so nice. So wonderful. And you know what? Mm -hmm. We go out and some guys misbehave. Uh -huh. Just come back and report. Yes. And yes. as usual. To be nice. <laughs> Ma, are they macho like? Yeah, I don't know what this macho is. What macho is, but you better not think of certain. If they are not good fighters, you land yourself oh. in trouble. Oh. You help them. You help them. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I hope they'll be on their way. I'm yes. so excited. Yes. We are quite punctual. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, the boys haven't come. No. no. No, we've been waiting uh, for them. I had to well. run from uh, a gathering of friends because I thought uh, I'm already late for uh, their coming. Mm. But you said 11. Yes, yes, they may be coming. They are quite punctual. Mm. Yes, they may be on their way. I see. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't, they don't get here any moment from now. And uh, about our arrangements? That everything is ready. The fridge? Very full, that's yes. very yes. full. Yes. Yes. Everything yes. in the fridge. Um, yes, we'll keep waiting. I uh, will keep with you. Uh, but, okay, let's. let's but, Ma, why, why didn't you come with them? I mean, when you were coming, oh, they were not ready then. Oh, they'll be coming any moment from now. Oh, the time is running. Where's the good that they do? No, no. No, open the door, please. No, I'm I feeling won't. shy. I'm also feeling shy. Oh, Joanna, please. You made the best attempt to open. But I'm feeling shy. I can't I'm open the door. Joanna. Come on, girls. We don't even know who is no, at the yeah. door. So, no, no man, you stay out of this room. Then you go and open the door. Please. Oh, Joanna. <laughs> so, don't you go and open the door. No. What, what is happening? There's that only a knock. Uh, you don't open the door then. You should open the door. I'm feeling shy. Oh. I am. Oh, and open the door? No, that she made the first attempt. So she should open. <laughs> That's so please open. Okay. Um. Yes, come in. Oh, hello. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, hello. Come in, come in. You're welcome. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Give me a bag. Yes. I have a seat. Hello, hello. You can't put a bag here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what's that? Pardon? Have you been paid already? Oh, no. He's my second son, Judas. <laughs> oh. Judas. <laughs> I see. Girls, welcome. Come. Please sit. <laughs> no, girls, come sit here. <laughs> oh. Sit down, sit down. I would want to stand. You're welcome. Thank you. What do we do? Do we do the introduction now? Yes, that's Introduction. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'll stand. <laughs> okay, um, Judas and Robert? No, I'm Robert. It's Judas. Okay, okay, the other way around. Okay, um, Robert and Judas, um, you meet these um, young ladies. They are my daughters. Um, she's Baba and she's Joanna. So, and um, I'm, I'm Ufa. Uh, your father is supposed to be a father. <laughs> well, girls, these are your brothers, Judas and Robert. They are going to be permanently residents here with us. Yeah. And this is Mr. Mufan, my husband, as such your father. Mm -hmm. He's your father, as I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. OK, um, you're welcome. Uh, you. Get the bus into the room, sir. Where are you taking them? To the art house. No, no, no. To the other room. Oh, I thought let's... that would be better. No, let's let's have them around us, please. Let's be together. A big family. <laughs> Take it in here. Um, please feel comfortable. I'll be with you in a minute. Yes, a minute. So, Ma, it is very real, my son. It is very real. God has given us the opportunity to live this way once again. Ma, I'm still not happy. No, Judas, not here. Judas, not now. why are you always trying to make things difficult for us? Are you forcing me? Well, I mean... Let's, let's.
Joanna and Bob. Yes, I'm Bob. Bob Stone. Bob Stone. Yes. Nice um, name. Okay, I think um, it is very necessary that uh, for such a wonderful um, gathering that is making a family, yeah, a union of this sort, we need to celebrate. And so we'd want to start the celebration and we'll take something as uh, refreshment, sort of. Um, do you, you drink, I suppose? You take beer or no, 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 no. Uh, You don't drink soft drinks. No. Okay. And we that's have some minerals in the so that's, right. that's no problem. So let's get that organized. Please feel comfortable. We'll still be with you. Um, let's get things out. And um, Viola, uh, we'll, we'll be back. Okay. Why did you keep so long? Uh, we were waiting for Mr. Saki. Uh, he came later. I mean, we ran over the keys. He uh, came so later. So you've given the key uh, to him? Yes. Mm. What is wrong with you, Vida? Mm. In fact, I've regretted for letting myself be deep so much. Vida, it means you are blaming us for the role we played in the whole deal. No, 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 Betty. Of course not. You were only doing what a good friend would under the circumstance do. You didn't know Mr. Mopo was so careless after such a wonderful beginning. Calm down, calm down, Vida. He will change. Frank has promised to talk to him. He will change. He will not, because he has actually come out to say all that is in him. He is by implication saying that he has regretted for taking the boys on. Or better still, making all those promises. Vida, I want you to trust us. Believe that we will do our very best to put things right. Hmm? We will sit him down and talk to him once and for all. I hope he will. But his behavior shows that sooner or later there will be a serious problem between him and the boy. Because they are not at all pleased with what he is doing. Mm. Okay. You know what? All I want you to do is that. Keep the boys out of his way. Mm? Talk to them and let them understand. Try as much as possible. Let them remain in the outer house. Let them understand. Because it is possible that the more he sees them, the worse the situation becomes. But Betty, how could this be? Eh? Is this fair? How long is this going to be, Betty? This is not what I promised the boys. They were very happy when we were in our small but peaceful home. I know, I know all this. Please, just do as I'm, I'm advising. And I believe it will work. All is not lost. Hmm. Hmm? Do as I'm saying, and it will work. Will you believe that he gets very moody anytime he comes to meet me with my own sons? Hmm? But when he meets me with his girls, yes, the best of moods. But that is impossible. Oh, I could say that he wishes that only him and his daughters and I remain in the house. Hello. Hi. Hi, my dear. Oh, madam. Hello. How are you doing? Well, well, well. I need not ask. I know you are distressed, but take it easy. Hmm? I'm just <laughs> assuring her that we, we are planning to sit Mr. Mofa down and talk to him. Yes, hmm? yes. Um, it is very true, you see. I hope you take it easy. Take it cool. Such things are bound to happen in life. But when they do, you must not do things that will make the problem very complicated to solve. You see, let it be easy. 
Take it easy. We are with you. Hmm? Sir, I'm taking it cool and counting on you. Before anything disastrous happens good, to my good, son. Good, good. Because they're not at all pleased with me. Look, they shouldn't put up such an unhealthy behavior. After all, it's not your fault. Let them come over. I'll talk to them. Okay? Please do. Yes, I'll do that. I'll do that. To, to have to wait. Judas has threatened that if this goes on, he will only sleep in the house. No, 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 no. No food or anything. No, 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 no. I will let him re yes. his decision. No, 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 no. Let him come over, okay? Don't, don't be afraid. We are with you, dear. What do you say? Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, okay? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you, are you ready for... Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, see to um, your dear friend. I will be in there doing one or two things. Mm? Take it easy. Mm. <laughs> Ada, I even forgot to offer you something when you came. What will it take? Oh, Let no. me give you something. It's all right. I don't have appetite. Oh, no, come on. At least a bottle of chilled beer will do. Hmm? Betty, you know I don't take alcohol, so why are you insisting? Who? Oh. But you took beer the very first time we met at Mr. Mouffet's house. Didn't you? <laughs> eh? Betty, don't remind me of dreams which could not last. Oh, no, come on. Dreams can be broken. But we will continue to dream. Hmm? Ryder, let me offer you something. It's all right. I'm be cheerful. Hmm? Ryder, come on. It will be all right. It will be all right. Going. We will talk to him. Mm -hmm. Do as I've said. Hmm? All right. Just keep the voice out of his way. Okay. Please tell me, Faye, who I'll be coming again. All right, I'll do that. Bye-bye. <laughs> I find the whole situation so embarrassing. How can he just decide it was a wrong decision he made? No, I don't believe that. He just doesn't like them. I mean, I haven't seen or heard of any serious crime any of them has committed. Mommy hasn't been happy these days at all. I find it so difficult to approach her. It will look as if I'm disturbing her. Yeah, you're right. And just this morning, she was in a hole and she wept so that he came out of the room to call her back. She will weep. And as for Judas, he doesn't want to talk to anybody, not even his own mother. Yeah, you don't have to blame. Yes, come in. Oh, Bob. Do you have to knock when you are coming into the hall? Your father's house. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, of course. No, Bob, please, don't be so pimped. I know why you are saying all this. Excuse me, it's my mother in. Bob, call her mommy because she's her mother too. You may be right. It's mommy in. She's gone out. Then can I borrow your personal oil for a moment? I'll bring it. Bob! What are you saying? That's borrow? True. Yes. No, this is your house. You know where the iron is, and you can use it anytime you want to. John, I, you don't understand. Please let me ask before taking. But oh. just feel free and go for it. You mean I should go in there for it? Yes. No. Excuse me, that will pose a problem. Bob, Bob, look, you are making me sad. You are making me feel guilty. Baba. Baba. See, I'm very, very sorry. Very, very, very sorry. But you see... Bob, Bob, Papa and I, I have been so happy to have you as our brothers. Please, take us as your sisters, in spite of all that Daddy is doing. Have you gotten it? No. Look at what you are doing. When I say a word, you tell me I'm a small oh, boy. Judas, don't be so angry. We're just trying to explain a few things to Bob. Judas, take it easy. You will surely go out. But please don't forget, the girls are no threat to us as the old man. Call him daddy, please. No. I tried a couple of times and he doesn't seem to like it. He, he doesn't even respond of late. So I don't see why I should call him daddy. Are you giving us the iron or not? If he comes to meet us here, he, he will drive us out as if we are strangers. I warned my mother, but she thought I was being too noisy. 
no, Judas. Don't bring mommy into this at all. She has no hand in it. I hope daddy will change soon. Change? Yes, very soon. Oh, that would be too late. Too late then. If my mother had not sold her small house, I would have long been out of this place. Judas, cool it in. Look, girls, I have no grudge against you. Neither do I hate him. I mean, the old man. But for my mother's sake, please let me stay out. I mean, out of his sight. To, to keep things going. Please. Joanna, kindly get us the iron. I need to get some clothes pressed. Can we come to the outhouse to see what is happening there? Or maybe play a game? I'm sorry. We are busy at the moment. Why you were not seen when I was leaving? Oh, yes, I went out. Anyway, we came to borrow your personal We will return it immediately. You just must be waiting. See you, girl, sir. Are you a bottle of beer? No, that's all right. Um, let's just get cracking. Okay. Mm, I'm in a hurry. Okay. Since you say so, I think you should be very, very brave. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had an unpleasant experience of listening to Vida's version of the case. And I must say, it's rather unfortunate. But before I can make any meaningful conclusion, I think it would be very fair to listen to you. Anyway, um, I, 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 I'm finding it difficult to understand why Zyda should go around telling the whole world what is happening no, no, between no, no, us. No, no, no. Something we can keep to ourselves. No, 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 yeah, no. She's in despair. Very distressed, I must say. And I see no reason why, at this point, she should not seek any external help. Moreover, Betty and I are no strangers in your marriage. Please tell me your part. Now, do you remember I told you once that um, the boys are bad and they were driving me crazy and making me hate my own home? Yes, sir. That is not the issue. The issue is on the role you play in getting the boy behind bars and why you did such an atrocious thing. I don't know whether you would understand, but listen, the boys are bad. And Vida is denying the fact. She, she, she thinks she will have to protect them. You see, and I don't hate them. I'm not trying to hide it. I'm just being yes. factual. Yes, I know. I know you are being factual. But I seriously don't even know what the boys, I mean, what they've done. Seriously, I can't tell. Eh? What can you say? What have they done? What exactly okay. do you have? Okay, listen to me. I did not put the boy wherever he is now. Listen to me and you understand. Hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, please have it. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> What can I do for you, sir? It's a strange visit to you. Yes, suppose. yes. Well, I came to report theft in my poultry farm and to inform you that I strongly suspect one of your sons and some other boys around 
Which of my sons, please? The younger one, I hear his name is Judas, or some other kind of name. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, what, when did this take place? Musamba last night, at about 11.30 p.m. In fact, my two white dogs, beautiful dogs, were poisoned about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And two weeks ago, ten beds were stolen from my poultry farm. Three days ago, the money to steal another ten, making it twenty, from my poultry farm. I see. And uh, you suspect the boy? Yes, I strongly suspect your son. Um, please hold on, excuse me. The boy's mother is around. I would want her to come and listen to the story herself. Just a minute, please. Please listen to him uh, 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 give you an idea. He's reporting text. Yes, Mr. Onfa, as I was saying, I laid ambush with my men. And last night, the thieves came again. This time, Mr. Onfa, they stole my only turkey. The only turkey that I've been breeding for so many months. The money to steal it. And when my men gave them a chase, the one who had the turkey, money to jump over your wall into your compound. And the description that my men gave me about the thief just fits your boy perfectly. Moreover, the thief didn't go anywhere but into your compound. Apart from that, this very morning, investigations have proved that the turkey has been found hidden in a box behind your boy's cottage. So your boy is a thief. You hear that? Thank you. Um, uh, Vida, you've heard him. So you now know where we are heading. But you... yeah, let the man finish his story. Uh, well, I'm I don't know what... Madam. Mr. Entry, please, is that all? Well, I decided to inform you first. Then let me find out from the boy what he has been doing at least. There's, there's, there's no need. The man has enough evidence. Besides, you come here and deny. I don't see why you want to waste his but, time. But, yeah, why are you behaving this way? Well, <laughs> I don't know how else I would have to behave, but here's the case. You know, what he said is quite substantive, and I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Entry, what are your plans? Well, I came with the security man. That's all. Right. To get the boy arrested and <laughs> take him to the station for a few interrogations. Let me find out from the boy. All right, but I'm sure carrying out my plans, madam. Well, so, Mr. Enchi, um, if you intend doing that, I don't see why you're, 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 you're still sitting. Yeah. <laughs> no. Is that all that you can say? But the man has come with, with some... Madame, well, of course, my time, please. 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 My time, madam. My time. Yes, please. Joanna! Oh, yeah. Joanna! Yes, ma. Please check and see if we can get Judas. I wonder if he's in. He's in. We've been watching his movement since morning. He's in there. It's so unfortunate. Um, those beautiful dogs of yours, I, I saw them. So Thank nice. You. Very painful. Oh, have, my, have my sympathy. Thank you. And to lose 20 beds in, in such a, a short period to Brooks is so unfortunate. Just imagine the cost. Uh, it, it, it looks like those who stole the beds were the very people who poisoned their dogs. Judah. Surely, you're right. Judah. Certainly. Please tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Have you stolen from Mr. Entry's farm? Me? Ma? No! Criminal. Of course. He suspects you. Tell him everything if you did. Why are you wasting Ma, the money? He's, 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 he's going to... Oh, yes. Tell him the one I say. They saw him. Criminal. Ma, I have no idea about what they are saying, ma. Well, you, you will answer at the police station. Ma, believe me. 
You should answer for I, this. I'll I'll never forgive forgive you. Know, I, you see, I don't understand why you are actually wasting time, but well, maybe. But it's all speak. because we are neighbors. That's why I came to inform you first. The man is only denying. That is all he's doing. I'm not a thief. Well, I'll, I'll make sure the law you know, takes its proper well, place. The man, the, man, the man has just come out with evidence. So what, what I say? Yeah. So no, no, look, 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 look at the way look at the way you're dressed. Look, look at the way you are dressed. My man saw him. They saw him. Mr. Richard, I don't they, see why you're wasting time. Him. Daddy. They know him. What is wrong with you? Ma, believe me. You pay for this. You surely pay for this. I never, I never tell you. lies, ma. I, know. I wasn't expecting Mr. Mufes son to have stolen my bets. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> you 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 <laughs> but uh, did you actually come with them the yes they are they are around okay but, then uh, with you the, can, for you the can... respect that i have for you oh well well you can carry out for interrogation you can carry on with whatever oh, yeah. right i don't see what you're, you're trying to say am i the one who is reporting that here's the man but can't you say anything what else do you want me to say Century, what are your plans? Well, I came with a security man. That's all. Right. To get the boy arrested and <laughs> take him to the station for a few Please, interrogations. Let me find out from the boy. All right, but I'm sure carrying out my plans, madam. Well, so, Mr. Century, um, if you intend doing that, I don't see why you're, 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 you're still sitting. <laughs> yeah. Well, is that all that you can say? But the man has come with, with some... Madame, well, of course, my time, please. Is, 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 is. My time, madame. My time. Yes, please. Joanna! Yeah. Joanna! Yes, ma. Please check and see if you can get Judas. I wonder if he's in. He's in. We've been watching his movements since morning. He's in there. It's so unfortunate. Um, those beautiful dogs of yours, I, I saw them. So painful. nice. Very painful. Oh, have, my, have my sympathy. Thank you. And to lose 20 beds in, in such a, a short period to Brooks is so unfortunate. Just imagine the cost, Samufa. Uh, it, it, it looks like those who stole the beds were the very people who poisoned their dogs. Judith. Surely, you're right. Judith. Certainly. Please tell me the truth. Tell the truth. Have you stolen from Mr. Entry's farm? Me? Ma? No! Criminal! Of course. He suspects you. Tell us everything if you did. Why are you wasting Ma, the money? He's, 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 he's going to. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take the one I say. They saw him. Criminal. <laughs> Ma, I have no idea about what they are saying, Ma. Judith. Well, you, you will answer the police station. Ma, believe me. You will surely answer for this. I, I, I'll never forgive I, 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 you. You see, I don't understand why you are actually wasting time, but well, maybe... But it's all speak. because we are neighbors. That's why I came to inform you first. The man is only denying. That is all he's doing. I'm not a thief. Well, I'll, I'll make sure the law you know, takes its what, proper place. The man, the, man, the man has just come out with evidence. So what, what are you saying? Yeah. 
Look, so look, 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 look at the way look at the way you're dressed. Look, look at the way you are dressed. My man saw him. They saw him. Mr. Rich, I don't see why you're wasting time. Him. Daddy. They know him. What is wrong with you? Ma, believe me. You pay for this. You surely pay for this. I never, I never tell you. lies, ma. I, know. I wasn't expecting Mr. Mufes son to have stolen my bets. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> you, you. You. <laughs> but, uh, did you actually come with them? The... Yes, they are, they are around. Okay, but, then. Uh, they, you can, for you the can... respect that I have for you. Oh, well, 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 you can carry out. For interrogation, you can carry on with whatever plans. Oh, you yeah. Have. Fred, I don't see what you're, you're trying to say. Am I the one who's reporting theft? Yes, the man. Well, can't you say anything? What else do you want me to say? I mean, you Madam, you're wasting my time. I think I'll take him away. Do you allow me to take him away? Is that all you can say? Secretary, please, let me talk to him. If he did it, he'll tell me. But he's denying, madam. I know, he's denying my plan. You're wasting I my know time. My plan. Better tell me something better. Did the boy later admit that he, he did any stealing at all? Oh, but you don't expect such a criminal to admit. He denied. He denied. Yeah. Listen. I mean, why didn't you do anything about this case and prevent it from going that far? Look, I don't know. But here's a boy whose record is so bad. You understand? And the mother is refusing to accept. I don't know what else I could have done in that situation. You, I mean, so you mean you sat watching the security men drag the boy out of the house, whilst Vida wept and begged that you should do something about it, as I hear? Look, what else could I have done? Could I would have been coming criminal? Is that what you mean? Yeah, you're a wicked man. What are you saying? You're a wicked man. If that boy were your black son, and he's even proven to be a criminal. Would you have given him up just like that? You are bad. So you, you, you think I just watched the whole thing go on like that? If you were in my shoes. I don't want to be in your shoes. I think you deceitfully bought those shoes. I don't want to be in your shoes. I don't want them. I'm sorry. What's the meaning of what you're saying? What I mean is that. What I mean exactly is that. Yeah. You deliberately wanted the boys out of the house. You never loved them. Look, look, I must be very, very frank with you. It is so. I don't think if they were your sons, you would have done that. They are criminals. Yes. And I will not bring for the criminals. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Don't be funny, friend. So, all right, I, then. So what do you want me to say? I don't know, but I think you are, you, are, you are making me very, very annoyed. Look, if you are able to promise Vida that you'll be the lovely husband, the most wonderful husband on earth, you promise to be a, a, a father who will take care of the boys, even if it needs reformation. And now you sit here and talk like that. You've disappointed Vida. What a big shame, yeah. That is not true. It is. That is not true. Even if it is not true, you wanted the boys out of your life. Never. I must tell you, for how can it happen that such a small boy will be sitting in the police cells waiting to be conveyed to the Boston institution for three years just because you went to testify that he's an uncontrollable young man? But that is the truth. Even if it were, even if it were, you didn't want a boy in your house, Yao. When the court wanted two people to come and confess that the boys could be controlled, you refused to go just because you hated them. I had no other choice. I could not dishonor myself. How could I go and say anything? What did you want me to do? Is that what you are saying? So if that boy were your son, wouldn't you have done anything consciously to reform him first at home? Well, I did my best for all of them. Yes. All of them. And yes. Saved. I don't believe you any longer. I don't believe you. I've been a big liar. I don't believe you. You never loved Vida. You deceived her. That is not true. It is. 
That is not true. It Biden is not true. Biden knows I love her. Fine. And I've, I've loved her ever since. Fine. And I'll continue loving her. Then why not her children? Why not her children? Look, I don't hate she them. She loves yours. I don't hate them. I you don't do. hate them. You do. You hate them. I'm you do. Sorry, I have to go. I think I have to go. You do. Bye, y'all. Listen. One more thing. I found out this morning that it is not too late to go and withdraw the boy's case from the police station. And the court, they are prepared to do whatever you want for you. So please, go there and do it. You mean to go back to the court and tell them what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do that. You worry. It is just that if we delay, we won't have enough time to talk to him. That's all. All right. Yes, I'm sure this will also serve as a nice present as well. Yeah. I'll buy some oranges when we get to the junction. Oh, leave that to me. I'll take care of that. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready now. Okay. Taking the water. Oh, yes, you reminded me. I have some. I'll see the ice cream. Good afternoon, Tibet. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, are you going to visit Judas? Yes, sir. Let me let me see. Baba. Thank you. We are leaving. Okay, ma, this is a present to Judas from Joanna and I. What is it? It's for his eyes only. Okay. I'm even afraid he will refuse to see us. No, I don't think so. He has made that. Yes. Baba. Oh. But do you still have to come knocking when we are coming into your own house? I thought that would be more acceptable to him. Oh no, Bob. Come on, Bob. Don't be so bitter. Hmm? But why are you going with him first? Eh? I was coming over to inform you that Antibeti and I are going to visit Judas at the Boston institution. Hmm. And maybe you would like to go with us. No. I'm rather here to inform you that I'm leaving. What do you mean by leaving? I mean, I'm going out of this house. Oh, God. What is happening? Eh? Bob, why? Don't do this. Eh? Where have you to go? I'm going to Uncle Crazy's place. Uncle Crazy? Oh, God. <laughs> Bob, don't go. Betty, you see what is happening? Calm down. I Calm foresaw down. this. I Calm down, right there. That's Why? Okay. Calm down. Why do I have to lose all my fans to the world just like that? That's all right. Calm down, Vida. Right Come, <laughs> Come, 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 We've never been separated. Now that he's been taken away from me, I feel I don't have anyone to share my life with. I haven't had a sound sleep since then. And I, I can't sleep all alone in the outhouse. Bob, I understand your point. But please, think about your mother. Please, don't leave her. Don't break her heart. And I will never break her heart. I will visit her often. But I think she must be by her husband. I know that is what she wants. No, Bob. Bob, don't say that. I know how you feel. But don't say that. Just listen to me once. Just once. Don't go away from me, Bob. What do you want me to do? No. I must leave. Auntie Betty, these are Judas' clothes. <laughs> Can we keep them for you? Okay. By the way, one more question. 
And your uncle agreed to take you on. Mm, yes. In fact, he was very sad about Judas's case. She said uh, I should come over if I want to leave. <coughs> Mama, you collect these things. Please, please. Auntie, Auntie Betty, I'm leaving. Um, okay, you, you leave. Let, let him go for a while. Vida, come on. At least we'll go and talk to him. Let's go. Betty, what am I going to do now? Leave that. Let's go. We, we'll be late. Just take this. <coughs> That's why. We'll go and talk to him. Don't worry. We'll be back in. Don't worry. machine. You can use this machine to plan a piece to any thickness that you require. And to do that, there's adjustable table, uh, adjuster here which you have to use. Come over and see. First of all, this adjuster, it can adjust the table which can move up. It can go down like this or up like that. Okay, in case you wanted to bring this one like this, as we did in the first time, we, we played already, we wanted to play in the one inch. That means you have to roll this thing to the one inch as the gauge is showing there. Okay, to get that, uh, sorry, to, there's uh, a roller, something which is rolling. There's uh, a cutter which has been fit, fitted into the, the roller, yes, inside it. So that's why revolving, where this one passes through it, it will plan it nicely, smoothly. After that, you have to adjust it again to the thickness that you want. You follow? Okay. And, all right. All right. So that. Get a tape, measure it and see whether you get one, one inch. One inch thickness. Is that one inch? Okay.